Did you know that there's a game changer that can significantly boost the Philippine economy? It's called nuclear power. Nuclear power is a safe and reliable source of energy that can revolutionize the way we power our country. It's a game changer that can provide a stable and constant supply of electricity, driving economic growth and development. With nuclear power, we can reduce our dependence on imported fossil fuels, saving billions of dollars annually. This means more funds can be allocated to other important sectors such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure. But what about safety? Well, the truth is that nuclear power is one of the safest forms of energy production. Stringent safety measures are in place to prevent accidents, and modern nuclear plants have advanced technology that ensures utmost protection. Moreover, nuclear power is clean and environmentally friendly. Unlike fossil fuels, it doesn't emit greenhouse gases, contributing to the fight against climate change. By embracing nuclear power, we can improve air quality and create a healthier environment for all. Investing in nuclear power also means investing in the future. It opens up opportunities for job creation and knowledge transfer. Our local experts will gain invaluable skills and expertise, positioning the Philippines as a leader in this field. Imagine a future where Filipino scientists, engineers, and technicians pave the way for groundbreaking nuclear innovations that can be exported to the world. This will not only bring economic benefits but also national pride. As we unveil this nuclear game changer, let's embrace the possibilities it holds for the Philippine economy. Let's work together towards a brighter and more prosperous future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates and join us in shaping a prosperous future for the Philippines. Welcome to our channel. In this eye-opening video, we delve into the game-changing effects of nuclear power on the Philippine economy. Brace yourselves as we unveil an exciting journey of discovery, progress, and empowerment, title, Unveiling the Nuclear Game Changer, Empowering the Philippine Economy, Description, Are you ready to witness a remarkable shift in the Philippine economy? Look no further. Our YouTube channel brings you a thought-provoking video that explores how nuclear power becomes the ultimate game-changer in boosting economic growth. As various sectors experience the positive ripple effects of nuclear energy, we take you on a journey to uncover the untapped potential that lies within this groundbreaking solution. Join us as we unravel the synergistic relationship between nuclear power and economic development, with detailed insights, we analyze the strategic advantages nuclear energy offers, such as enhanced energy security, reduced carbon emissions, and lower electricity costs. Discover how these benefits intertwine with the Philippine economy, leading to substantial long-term gains and accelerated progress across industries. Moreover, our video sheds light on the rigorous safety measures and advanced technological advancements that enable the unparalleled reliability of nuclear power. Through careful exploration, we address common concerns and provide reassurance about its safe implementation and operation. Whether you're an industry expert, an enthusiast, or simply curious about how the Filipino economy can take a transformative leap forward, this video is a must-watch. Gain an in-depth understanding of the unprecedented opportunities and game-changing potential unlocked by incorporating nuclear power into the Philippine energy mix. Experience firsthand how the diversification of energy sources can drive economic stability, innovation, and sustainable growth. Discover why countries around the world are embracing nuclear energy as a key ingredient for their economic prosperity. Stay tuned to our channel for more groundbreaking content that enlightens, educates, and empowers. Together, let's venture into a future where nuclear power reshapes the Philippine economy and paves the way towards a brighter tomorrow. Don't miss out on the chance to be part of this vital conversation. Join us now and witness the tremendous impact of the nuclear game changer on the Philippine economy. The Philippines and the United States on Friday signed an agreement on nuclear energy cooperation that will allow Washington to export nuclear technology and material to Manila. Energy Secretary Rafael Lotilla and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken signed the agreement for cooperation concerning peaceful uses of nuclear energy or 123 Agreement, on the sidelines of the 2023 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC, summit in San Francisco, California, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who is in the U.S. for the APEC meeting, witnessed the signing of the deal, which he described as, another milestone towards a more energy-secure and green Philippines, in his
Remarks, the president expressed optimism that the signing of the deal will encourage more foreign investors to pursue nuclear power projects in the Philippines, the nuclear power cooperation, he said. Will enable the country to meet its growing energy demands and provide a more investor and consumer-friendly environment, we see nuclear energy becoming a part of the Philippine energy mix by 2032, and we would be more than happy to pursue this path with the United States as one of our partners, Marco said. I called then for the re-evaluation of the possibility of safely developing nuclear energy in the Philippines, recognizing the enormous potential of nuclear energy given the new, highly advanced technologies and standards of safety, security, and all the different safeguards that are now in place, the agreement provides the legal basis for allowing American companies to export nuclear fuel, reactors, equipment, and other specialized nuclear material, this is called for under Section 123 of. The U.S. Atomic Energy Act, which generally requires the conclusion of a peaceful nuclear cooperation agreement for significant transfers of nuclear material or equipment from the United States. The U.S. has 23 civil nuclear agreements with other countries, including Russia, China, Canada, South Korea, the United Kingdom, Japan, Taiwan, Turkey, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates and Vietnam, apart from the 123 agreement. Marco said that Moralco and Ultra Safe Nuclear Corporation also signed a cooperation deal for a pre-feasibility study on micromodular reactors, MMRs, to explore clean and sustainable energy options in the country. A feasibility study will follow for the deployment of MMRs to Moralco sites to enforce the sustainable energy agenda and provide affordable and dependable access to power, particularly to the underserved and off-grid areas, for economic empowerment. The Marcos administration has ramped up efforts to diversify the country's energy sources, which the Department of Energy, DOE, has said includes nuclear power. U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson earlier said there were a number of American nuclear technology firms who would be very interested in investing in the Philippines but were hesitant due to the absence of the 123 Agreement, UltraSafe and New Scale Power Corporation plan to build small and micromodular reactors. The Korea Hydro Nuclear Power Company Limited, on the other hand, is interested to rehabilitate the mothballed Bataan nuclear power plant. Under the Philippine Energy Plan, the government is looking to include 1,200 megawatts MW, of nuclear energy in the power mix by 2032, rising to 2,400 megawatts by 2040 and to 4,800 megawatts by 2050. Lotilla said that, beyond nuclear power applications to combat climate change, the new agreement facilitates cooperation in a wide array of other peaceful uses of atomic energy, which all support various sustainable development goals. These include plant breeding, livestock production, insect pest control, soil and crop management, water use efficiency, plastic waste disposal, food safety, health and medicine, Negotiations for the 123 Agreement, which took about seven months, were led by Energy Undersecretary Sharon Guerin for the Philippines and Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of State and Ganser for the U.S., in a text message. House Special Committee on Nuclear Energy Chairman Rep. Mark Kowanko hailed the agreement as an initial step in addressing the country's serious energy problem. This is good. We had such an agreement with the U.S. decades ago, but this has already lapsed. The 123 agreement opens the door to USA nuclear vendor companies being able to share their nuclear technology with us legally, during the fourth Philippine Economic Briefing. A side event of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation meeting in San Francisco, Transportation Secretary Jamie Bautista presented the infrastructure transport projects of the Department of Transportation DTR, to American investors. Bautista said the department's projects will disturb the status quo in the transport sector and improve the Philippines' connectivity and mobility. Our transport projects highlight the efforts of our government in pushing the infrastructure agenda of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who wants us to improve mobility and connectivity.